Welcome to example four. We have a standing wave pattern shown to the right, and we know that the waves travel at a speed of two meters per second. We're asked to determine the frequency of the standing waves that were produced as you oscillated up and down here. Um, you're told that the distance between one end and to the other end, L, I guess, would represent one meter. So the first thing I would do is I need to figure out that wavelength because uh, remember that the wave equation V equals F lambda, if I want to find the frequency I'm going to need to know the wavelength. I already know how fast the wave is moving at. So I take a look at my picture all right, and I see that I have one wave here and another entire wave. So one needs to realize that this length in here of one meter has one two waves in there. So there's two wavelengths that fit into this distance. So one meter equals two lambda. Therefore, lambda, the wavelength, is equal to one over two meters, so half a meter. So there's half a meter of a wavelength for this wave. So now that we know the wavelength, we simply plug into our equation. Our speed is two meters per second, and our wavelength is 0.5 meters. And so we get a frequency of four hertz. And that's it for this example.